Hi guys, this is going to be the setup video for the new Avionic X5 fly wireless gyro. There are a few things to be noted before we begin with the origin of the programming of the gyro. One thing to make sure is to disconnect all servo wires going into the gyro as we have to select the servo frequency and servo driving frequency or you might burn, burn up your servos. Another thing to note is that this gyro does not support analog servos. So please do not put in analog servos or they would instantly get burnt or and or may damage the gyro itself. Before proceeding with the setup, there uh, we also have to make uh, two two set uh, two settings into the transmitter that would be the swash the swash uh, type and uh, the gyro setting. In the swash type, we are going to select uh, one servo 90 degree or no mix. We do not require any mixing to be done by the transmitter as all the mixing will be done through the fly wireless gyro. The next setting required is in the gyro uh, is in the gyro settings where you would select uh, position zero as forty five percent and position one as seventy percent. This is for your rate mode and head holding mode. The last thing to do is if you guys are running a four fifty pro like the one I have here right now. Consider centering all the servos before they go into before they go into uh, the frame, as it would be difficult to get them out later. So you you can just mechanically uh, center center the servos and place the horns as close as possible to 90 degrees and uh, put them in. The sub trimming will be done through the Avionic X5 unit. For guys running the Sport V2. You guys have no problem. You you can you can uh, plug in your servo horns at a late, uh, later stage. So I'm going to power on my uh, helicopter and uh, we will proceed with the settings. Another thing uh, to note is that the Avionic X5 can also be used as a standalone tail gyro, a gyro only for the tail. The selection process uh, will be shown in the video further but uh, this is to clear that this gyro can also be used as a tail gyro only. Okay guys as you can see I have powered on my helicopter and all the servo wires are disconnected from the gyro. Firstly we have to select the, uh, the servo, servo driving frequency and the servo frequency before plugging in the servo wires into the gyro. Now we are going to quickly head on to step A and in step A is a mode of operation of the gyro where you will select a tail gyro mode or fly wireless mode for this gyro. So to head on to setup A I am going to push this button here right here till A starts stops blinking and goes steady. There you go it's got steady and the status LED right here. So, uh, shows uh, the color blue that means it's in fly barless mode if you guys are using this gyro only for your as a tail gyro then you have to change this status uh, and and uh, by sh shifting the rudder stick to the left or to the right I just move my rudder stick to the left and now the status LED has gone red this shows that the gyro is now in uh, tail gyro mode in tail gyro mode the other two gyros are disabled automatically by the fly barless unit as this heli is uh, uh, is fly barless so i'm going to be selecting fly barless mode and i'm going to move my rudder stick again and the status led is going to turn now blue okay now it's turned blue and now to save this and go to the next step i have to just push this button once and we'll go into the uh, setup b Okay, now we are in setup B and uh, setup B is basically you select the mounting orientation of the gyro. As you can see my gyro is vertically mounted so I have selected uh, 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 
vertical vertically mounted uh, gyro so uh, it would show a red status led over here in case your guys have mounted your uh, gyros here on the top you need to change this and uh, get it to horizontally mount uh, mounted so for that you're going to move the rudder stick and uh, the status led is going to turn blue the blue status led indicates that you have now set the gyro for horizontal mounting but as you see mine is vertically mounted so I'm going to switch back by again uh, pushing the rudder stick to one direction and the status LED goes red that's it the status LED has gone red and now I am in vertical I have uh, set it up for a vertical mount now I'm going to save this and go to the next setup that is setup C Now in setup C, we are, here we are going to select the swash plate servo frequency. Guys running this gyro only for uh, as a tail gyro can skip this setup. But guys running this gyro for uh, fly as a fly barless gyro, you need to uh, select the frequency uh, for your servos. In case you guys are uh, running a uh, digital serv uh, servos and, and you do not know the frequency, of of your servo i suggest you you switch uh switch to 50 hertz that is this if you switch to 50 hertz the status led will go off as you can see it's gone off that means this is 50 hertz depending on what servo you're using and if you know what frequency it's running on you can again move the rudder stick that is blue it's at 200 hertz red that's 120 hertz and purple that is 65 hertz if you know what what is the uh, frequency for your servos to run you can set up any of these three in case you do not know please set it to off position that is 50 hertz and as my servos can run at 200 hertz so i'm going to set them at 200 hertz here you go I've selected 200 Hertz and the blue uh, blue status LED suggests that now we're going to go to the next step that save this and go to the next step that is setup D in setup D we have to select the tail servo center position pulse whether this is a standard digital servo or it is a narrow band servo as you can see the status led is blue so it is right now set for a standard digital servo that is 1520 in case you're using a narrow band servo again you can move your rudder stick to the right or to the left if i move my rudder stick it turns purple that is a narrow band servo of 960 if i move it again it goes to red suggesting that it is now set to 760 as mine is the standard 1520 band servo I'm going to select the status for blue that's it it's set to blue and now we move on we save this and move on to setup E in setup E we set the tail servo frequency the driving frequency of the servo again like the cyclic servo if you're unsure of what's the driving frequency of the servo you you select the status led to go off that is 50 hertz here you can make selections of purple that is 165 hertz red 270 hertz and blue 333 hertz i'm going to set it to 270 hertz so the status led will go red that's it the status led has gone red so now we are going to save this and go to setup f okay so in setup f we basically have to uh, make the ta uh, set the tail rotor limits so for this we are going to need to we, we will need to connect all the servos so uh, we uh, i'll connect all the servos and get back to it. 